How to extract GPS log file, GPX, from GoPro Hero 7 Black Camera, and visualize path trajectory on the map. The GoPro Hero 7 Black Camera can store various telemetry data within a photo video footage because she has built-in sensors, GPS, accelerometer, compass, and gyroscope. These data can be reached in a few ways and can be used in a variety of ways. Here we will show how to simply extract only GPS log file, GPX, and use it for trajectory path visualization with free and simple program, Root Generator. It's important to know that you need to enable that GoPro Hero 7 record telemetry data. So you must first to activate a GPS receiver, via menu in the camera, or via mobile GoPro application. If you don't do that telemetry data wouldn't be recorded at all. For this example we use Time Warp Video, GH010089, recorded with a GoPro Hero 7 black camera. When you complete transfer of the recording from GoPro to your computer, you need to open a GoPro Telemetry Extractor web page. Here, via option free, we open the subpage Telemetry Extractor Lite and wait for the page to read the telemetry data from the video itself. It is important to note that the video itself is not uploaded to the site. As we can see, the site immediately recognizes the type of GoPro camera with which the video was recorded and offers options for read telemetry data. The premium version offers us some additional information, but the free version is enough to get the GPX file from the recording, so we will not analyze the premium options here. The free version itself offers different ways to visualize the data read, but as we are here focused on the GPS log itself in the form of a GPX file we go straight to show how to easily download it. Downloading of GPX file To get a simple graphical visualization of the movement of the camera during the recording, we will use the free program Root Generator, which you can download at this link.
The current version is 1.9.1. With the root generator we now open the GPX file, and it takes some time to read it. When it's done, it offers the option to immediately download the Google Maps map of the zone where the GPS log is located. This is essentially the location where we recorded the video. At this step it is important to define the size of the map that we will download and it is best to adjust it exactly to the resolution of the video in which we make the video, which in this case, is, full high definition, 1920 by 1080 pixels. If you are only doing a visual representation of the movement on the map that will not be used in any video editing, then you can adjust the resolution of the map to your needs. When you adjust this, the map detail level selection shows a green rectangle that tells you how much terrain surface the GPS log covered while you were recording. For this reason, it is best to adjust the map so that the green rectangle is within the selected area and is as large as possible. This will give you a more detailed view of the movement on the map, because if the green rectangle remains small, you will not see the details. When you have set this, the program saves the selected part of the map as a PNG file. Immediately, after that, you have drawn the path trajectory of the GPS log. You can define the details of the rendering speed and the icon that shows the moving object. If you want to combine this graphic display, animation, with the recording from the GoPro camera, then is the best to set the duration the same as the recording itself, here in my case it is 144 seconds or 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Setting the length of animation is in the option, set total time, seconds, where you need to tick the checkbox. It is also good to tick the checkbox to the Smooth Root option, because then the created animation will have a smoother display. All graphic details of the visualization can be easily adjusted. The icon itself can be changed using the vehicle settings option. It originally has six icons, airplane, bike, motorcycle, boat, car and train, and I added two more with different colors, pedestrian and dot. It is also possible to very easily define the type, thickness and color of the trace that the icon leaves as it moves. Interestingly, you can create the icon yourself as a vector drawing saved as a PNG file with a transparent background. For this I used the free vector drawing program Inkscape. You can download these icons that I drew in the link in the video description, and insert these PNG files into the root generator with the add vehicle option, which is part of vehicle settings.
Once you have defined all these details you can create the final animation, a video. You adjust the quality and format of the video under the option Edit, Preferences, and if you use that animation in another video editing project, it is best to set the highest quality, bit rate, and frame per second number the same as the project in which you will use the created video, in my case 50. The root generator essentially creates a certain number of BMP, bitmap image frames with a defined duration and frame per second number, and then uses them to create video. We have to wait a while for the root generator to create the video. This would be the final product. As we said before, you can use the video visualization of the GoPro camera's path trajectory on the map, via a GPX file with the GPS data, to your needs. I edited a video here. And yes, for the end, the note for this type of view. This was done with Google Earth, and how you can see in, in my older video, how to extract and use GPS telemetry data from GoPro Hero 7 Black video footage, where all is explained in detail. You have a link in the description to that video. That would be all. Thanks for watching.